23 years ago, the alien Seth invaded our world. We stopped them. I stopped them. But the Cell Corporation seized the opportunity, stepping into the power vacuum, quickly growing in size and influence to the brink of world domination. Cell took us all by surprise. Even me. They call me Prophet. And I'm the only one who knows what's coming. Cell are not the real threat to our world. The most powerful alien, the Alpha Seth, still lives. He showed me a glimpse of the future. He knows what drives me, what I believe. That being a good soldier comes down to one thing, to one single question. What are you prepared to sacrifice? Remember me. When they came to me with the nano suit, I sacrificed Lawrence Barnes, the man I was, to become prophet. When my own flesh and blood held me back, I sacrificed that too replaced it like a spare part. Victory costs. Every time you pay a little more. I saw a glimpse of what's coming. And there was nothing left of me to stop it. fails, what do we do then? What do I do?
Whoa, 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 easy! Friendlies! You remember friendlies. Psycho. Where's your nano suit? Cell skinned me. Skinned us all. You're the last one. It's all about that suit now. Here, take my back up. Dane, there's three to come out. Keep low. Move! Dane, bandit. Make the diversion. Prophet, let's go. Romeo Actual, this is Romeo 1. Initiating burnout. Over. Copy that, Romeo 1. We've got to get you in there, inside the dome. There's a war starting. The Alpha Seth? No. Remember those guys who shot you full of K-bolts in Siberia? The guys who had you in lockdown for God knows how many years? The guys who tore the nanosuit from my flesh? The guys who were gonna do the same to you? Sell? Those guys? Ah, oh, forget it. Nanosuit disembarkation in progress. All non-essential personnel must leave That's the area. We're walking straight through the front door. Surprise is going to be our only chance. No one's crazy enough to give this a go. Let's do this quietly. We've got QRF teams on standby. They pulled everyone off leave for this guy? Do you have any idea who he is? The guy in there is Prophet. That's why they've locked everything down? He's on his way to the skinning lab. Who'd be stupid enough to go after him? Five two, perimeter normal. Area secure, over. The guy's some super soldier. Super soldier, my ass. He bleeds like the rest of us. No, this one doesn't. This is 5-2. Perimeter breach in Sector 2. Alpha 0. We got two, maybe more hostiles. Set back up ASAP. Over. Target, over. Recon his last position. That was a bit messy. Maybe you need this. A bow? Yeah. Makes you an invisible, silent killing machine. Serious kit, this. You like it? No. 
Well, that's because you haven't heard the good part. Carbon lasers map that bow to your nanosuit. It has enough kinetic energy to stop a rhino dead. With interchangeable heads, you can drop an explosive charge on any target. And best of all, you stay cloaked. You like it now? I'm coming around. Good. Now let's move out. Let's go. Romeo 1, we've breached Foxtrot 4. Burnout prepped and ready, over. This is Cell's home front. They got about one, maybe two. And the seven. Come off it, mate. The aliens are finished. You should know that by now. Let's move! Get this door open! Show me Come your on. face! Just break that shit! You cut me out of my fucking suit now! Show me your face! Cycle! Let's go! I will find you! I will fucking find you! You're awake when they cut you out, you know! A lot of the lads died screaming! Their hearts gave up from the shock! Fuck it. Come on. 
Come on. Let's go. Okay, I'll give you cover. Let's link up on the far side. All sectors alert. Fugitives are crossing the perimeter. Terminate with extreme Roger sectors. Roger. Dive suit. Cycle, moving 
to the next area. Psycho? Yeah. <laughs> Copy that.
go! Once we get inside, we'll RV with my people. You have people now. You know me. I've always been a team player. I'm not going anywhere until you give me some answers. Yeah, I remember. Most of them are debt slaves. Sell owns our energy. All of it. You can't pay your bills, you have to work it off. Of course you never do, that's the beauty of it. You get stuck in that work away debt scheme for life. There's no other choice. Well, there is one. You fight. Here, let me show you what Sel have been up to while you've been sleeping. Maybe you'll understand then. Welcome to New York, version 2.0. What have they done? The city has an energy signature. Why is that? It's Cell. They're channeling energy from alien technology. Running their entire global power grid off a single Ceph machine inside this dome. It can't be that simple. It really is, mate. You kill the power, you kill Cell. As simple as you like. No, the Alpha Sef showed me a vision. We've been through this before. There's got to be a connection somehow. Prophet, the aliens are gone. You finished them off yourself. Just a few waves and strays left. No, there's something more. If we can just find a hint somewhere here, a clue. Listen, while you were off hunting some super alien that didn't even exist, Cell were busy taking over the world. We need you back in the here and now, boss. We need you to help us stop Cell. There's more than your revolution going on here. I've seen this. Cell are toying with powers they can't begin to understand. Whatever they're doing, it's going to bring about the end of the world. We have to shut them down. Fucking right we do. Let's get moving. is intact. Initiating terminal velocity. Copy that, Romeo-1. You have cleared the perimeter. The Liberty Dome is designed to contain a Ceph threat. You have the advantage. Cell units are organizing their response. We estimate you have about uh, 30 minutes. The highlighted area is still a go. Cell ground activity is minimal here, but the towers are still 100% functional. Stay safe. Bring that hardware home, Romeo One. That's Claire, New York's regional commander. She's not a soldier. We've lost most of our top brass, but she's doing one hell of a job. You have respect for command now. Well, you know, this one's different. Oh, shit. She made me swear not to tell a living soul. Well, I guess technically, I ain't really breaking your word, right? <laughs> 